you need to know your audience. Now this one we're going to talk about a lot in this class because knowing your audience is really key to making a good presentation. There's no way around it. This is probably the most important thing. In this unit, we're just going to touch on it a little bit, not too much detail, but we will talk about it more later. People understand what is familiar to them. So it's important to understand what your audience is familiar with before making your presentation. This means that people understand the things they already know. Maybe your presentation is going to tell them something they don't know. But how do you do that? The way to do that is to understand the things they do know and then use those ideas to explain your new idea. This is a very key concept. A presentation that presents an idea that's completely new, that your audience doesn't understand, to you may seem very simple, but to your audience will be very boring, very confusing, and make them feel frustrated. So it's important for us to understand the audience and know what is it they understand so that we can help them understand our idea. It's not an easy thing to do, and again, we will talk about it more later. How do you know your audience before you see them? Well, actually, it's not that hard, is it? I mean, you can always know who you're going to talk to. If you're making a presentation at a university, they're probably scholars. If it's a business conference, probably business people. If it's management inside your company, it's management. So you kind of know beforehand. And you can always ask beforehand if you're going to make a presentation. You can ask, excuse me, who's going to be in the audience? during my presentation. So here are some of the questions you can ask about your audience before your presentation. Are they colleagues? In other words, are they people that work with you? Or are they guests from outside your company, office, lab, university? Are they senior or junior to you? Meaning are they above you or below you inside the company? Are they people that are your managers or are they people who are guests from outside, for example? Are they experts in the subject that you're going to be presenting on? In other words, do they know a lot about the topic or do they know just a little about the topic? How much do they already know about your specific topic? They may not be experts, but they may already know something. So you don't want to begin from the basics. Or maybe they don't know anything and you need to begin from the basics. How much time do they have? Now this one is very important. And it's very frustrating. You need to really be considerate of your audience. When I make a presentation, my problem with presentations is I'm always pushing myself to go sooner, faster, rather than later, slower. I'm always worried my audience will become bored or they have things to do. They're checking the time. They have other meetings. They have other things to do. So you need to make that time very valuable. And one way to make it more valuable is to make it short. Be considerate and understand how much time does your audience have. I don't know why it's so difficult, but many people, when they present, completely forget about this. And they just present way too long. And the people in the audience have a schedule that they have to go somewhere else. And they just the speaker just forgets. I don't know what it is. Somehow when people get talking, especially if they're excited about their topic, they just keep on talking. So that's a good thing in a way but it's a very bad thing for the audience when they have a schedule. So you really need to check how much time do they have. 